Hello, my name is Siavesh Irani, a solutions architect here at Amazon Web Services. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to change license types and instance tenancy for your EC2 Windows instances using AWS License Manager. On Amazon EC2, you can choose to run instances that include the relevant license fees in their cost or license included, or to utilize licenses you have already purchased from Microsoft. BYOL or bring your own license is the process of bringing previously purchased on-premises licenses to AWS. When you BYOL, the licensing cost of the product you bring is no longer included in the price of the instance. You can change your license type between AWS provided licensing and bring your own license model as your business needs change without redeploying your existing workloads. AWS has both shared and de dedicated deployment options to meet your BYOL needs. You can also change the tenancy of your instance to best suit your use case from dedicated instance or dedicated host to shared tenancy and vice versa. There are different reasons that you may want to change your EC2 instance license type. Here we are going to cover a few of them. Migrate on-premises workload to Amazon EC2. During your migration, you can deploy your workload to Amazon EC2 and use AWS provided licenses. When the migration is complete, use AWS License Manager license type conversion feature to change the license type of your instances to BYOL so that you can use the licenses that were released during the migration. Continue running workloads with expiring license agreement. If your license agreement with Microsoft is about to expire and you do not plan to renew it, you can use License Manager license type conversion to switch from BYOL to AWS provided licenses. This switch allows you to continue running your workloads with fully compliant software licenses provided by AWS with a flexible pay-as-you-go licensing model. Optimize costs. For small or irregular workloads, AWS provided licenses or license included instances might be more cost effective than running BYOL because BYOL might require a longer term commitment. For this case, you can use AWS License Manager license type conversion to switch your instances from license included to optimize licensing related costs. Additionally, when your workload is more steady or predictable, you can sw easily switch back to BYOL and use licensed media acquired directly from your software vendor if your instances were launched from your own virtual machine image. The license conversion has the following requirements. First, the target instance must be configured with AWS Systems Manager inventory. The target instance must be in a stopped state before you convert the license type. And the original Amazon EC2 instance must be launched from your own virtual machine image. With that, let's get to our demo section. For the demo, I have this EC2 instance, which I've imported before into my AWS environment. Notice that the instance is uh, platform details, shows as Windows, and the usage operation shows as 0002. If you refer to uh, AWS License Manager documentation, this 002 means uh, it's Windows Server uh, license included. Uh, for this demo purpose, I want to convert this from uh, 0002 to 0800, which is basically Windows Server as BYOL. Now, another thing uh, to note is uh, if you look at this instance under AWS Systems Manager, you can see that it's been inventoried uh, using AWS Systems Manager. So it meets my, requ it meets my requirements to convert the li license type. Uh, as we talked before, uh, the instance needs to be in stopped mode. So I'm going to uh, stop the instance before I try to convert uh, its, its type. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. While it is stopping, I wanna show you how you can actually query these usage operations using AWS CLI. So I'm gonna switch to AWS Cloud Shell tab 
And if I run uh, basically just a simple uh, AWS describe, uh, EC2 describe instances call with my instance ID, you can see that it actually shows uh, the usage operation right here and the platform details. Now that the instance is stopped, I'm gonna go to AWS License Manager console. And from here, I'm gonna click on License Type Conversion and click on Create License Type Conversion Task. When I do that, it's gonna show my instance, the 10th instance you see it's listed there and it's running, uh, the usage operation currently is 0002. I'm gonna hit Next, choose my target uh, usage operation. In this case, I'm going to convert it to a Windows BYOL or 0800. Hit Next and click on Start Conversion. It took about two minutes for this license conversion task to go through. Uh, you, can, you can see it shows us successful here. And if I come back to my test EC2 instance, look at its platform details. Now it shows us B Windows BYOL and its usage operation uh, shows us 0800. Uh, now, in addition to changing the license type, I do want to change my instance tenancy from default or shared to dedicated host. Um, I've already allocated a dedicated host under uh, US East 2C as my EC2 instance and with the instance family of C5 because in this case my instance was C5x large. And now what I need to do is run a command to change my instance um, tenancy. To do so, I'm going to open up AWS Cloud Shell and the command that I'm going to run is AWS EC2 modify instance placement uh, with my instance ID and uh, specifying my host ID here. When I run that command, it, show, it returns us through, if I come back to my EC2 instances list and I refresh this, uh, you will see that the instance tenancy now has changed to host uh, with my host ID here. I hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.